Let's jump into learning about Refine Edge. Refine Edge is a super powerful feature. It just came into existence with CS5 and it can save you a lot of time on isolation if you know how to use it. What we wanna do with this tutorial is I wanna move the figure of this girl onto a different background. The one she's on is okay, but I want a happier, brighter beach. So let me show you what I got. I want this one, deeper blues. It's really pretty. So I want to move her from this to this. I've already put my background layer below her and I'm going to turn it off for right now. We can't see it anyway. We need to isolate her and get her onto this new background. We can do that really quickly and simply with the quick selection tool. So I'm going to grab that and paint her. Make sure you have the right layer selected. I did not. I'm going to go over here and grab her layer and do that again. Let's paint her. And as I'm painting her with the quick selection, you'll notice that it's, it's really doing the work for me. It's seeing the edges that I need to select and it's doing them in advance. If you don't know how to use quick selection, you can check out our other videos. Uh, but it's a really useful tool. So now I have her mostly selected. This is by far not a perfect selection. And you'll notice that there are some areas where the hair is not getting selected properly and whatnot. However, let's see what we can do with Refine Edge. I've got my main selection and now that it is active, you'll notice Refine Edge is no longer grayed out. I can select it. Let's do it. When I select Refine Edge, it may change your view mode depending on what is selected up here in the view mode. You can look at it as a marching ants, which looks exactly the same as what we just saw. You can switch it to overlay, which looks like a quick mask mode on black, on white, or black and white like an alpha mask on layers. But right now I don't have any other visible layers, so you won't see it or reveal layer. So let's do it right now on white. I can immediately see some problems with my selection. She has hair hanging down here, which is not visible because the quick selection tool didn't see it and it would have been really hard to paint in. But we can paint it in now with Refine Edge. Actually right here, we have a Refine Radius tool, which is a brush in and of itself and can be used just like a brush. It can be resized with brackets, just like a brush tool and I'm going to paint over the hair that I want to bring back into the image. You'll notice I'm painting around the hair and I'm getting the background too and that's okay. I want that. And now release my pen stroke and you'll see that it's made a pretty good refinement there. There's a little bit of leftover down here where the shadows were on the water and it didn't discern between the two but it's still pretty good. We'll correct the rest later. Here we go up by her head. There's another section of sky that didn't get masked out. So we're gonna paint there. Look at that. Refine Edge has, through the edge detection brush, actually eliminated it for me really quickly and easily. If it eliminated something I wanted to keep, I could go here to the Erase Refinements tool and I could paint back in what it had erased, but it actually did a really good job for me, so I'm happy with that. In edge detection, I'm gonna turn on smart radius, and I'm gonna boost the radius up a little bit. Now, smart radius is not always necessary, and you can tell the difference by turning it on and off and seeing if it's useful or not useful. And in this case, uh, I'm gonna leave it on with a low radius. You can adjust the edge several different ways. You can smooth it out slightly, which I'm actually going to do. That just prevents you from getting really hard edge uh, selections. And then I want to get rid of the leftover down here. A quick way to do that is I'm going to go to black and white. You can see it a little more vividly there. And with the black and white view active, I'm going to raise my contrast. You notice as I raise my contrast, it really sharpens the edges and it gets rid of a lot of that leftover. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it a little more too and feather the edge just slightly. Hit OK and there we go. We have our selection. 
Now, the selection is still live and active. I can go back in to refine edge and pick up where I left off. I can decontaminate colors. What that will do for you is it will remove some of the fringing. Suppose you shot against a very colorful black background and some of that background bled over onto your subject. The decontaminate colors would help out with that. I'm not going to raise it too high in this case because uh, the background I'm putting around is pretty similar, so I don't need to remove those colors. And we're going to output this to new layer with a mask. Hit OK. And there we go. We have a whole new layer. Our original is preserved, and we have it masked according to the refine edge selection that we created. Let's turn on our background layer and see how we did. That doesn't look bad at all, especially for how quickly we just isolated that. You'll notice that we have an isolation around the hair and the body that have done pretty well. And you can go back at any point and refine this mask even more if you'd like. But that's just a quick overview on what you can do with Refine Edge, available in CS5 and up.